Welcome back everybody. In today's episode of Cooking with Kirby, we're gonna be making my favorite breakfast burrito, machaca con huevos. Now I'm using shredded beef, but traditionally machaca is actually dried beef. Carne seca, if you look up carne seca, you'll see what I mean. Carne seca is a dehydrated beef. And back in the day, I, under, I, I get it, you know, they had to preserve their meat because, you know, they didn't have refrigerators or, you know, poor food storage. So, you know, they had to do what they had, could to be able to preserve their food and that way they can use it later without it going bad. So what I did is I took a two pound chuck roast, I let it boil for about 45 minutes to an hour and I just let it rest and let it come to room temperature and I went ahead and shredded it. This is one pound, I'm gonna use the other pound for shredded beef tacos, which you guys will check later. We're also gonna need a quarter of an onion sliced up, two Roma tomatoes, a half of a bell pepper sliced up, and a tablespoon of minced garlic. And we're also gonna be needing some eggs and I like to add some refried beans in, in my burrito, so if you have some beans ready, uh, it's good to add to this. Now we're also going to be making a salsa. Now usually when I make these burritos I meal prep. That way I can go to work and I have me a burrito and a little cup of salsa. So that way I'm good for the morning. So we're going to be needing two serrano chilies, a couple chile de arbos, that's about four. As always, the spice go to your preference. If you want less, by all means go less. If you want more, pack it in there baby. Um, I like a pungent. Uh, garlic flavor, so I got about five garlic cloves that I'm gonna be adding to this. A quarter of an onion, two Roma tomatoes, and just depending on the flavor, I might add the whole lime in there, but uh, I'm aiming for about half. Now we're gonna get some water and we're gonna go ahead and drop in our tomatoes. We're gonna let that come to boil, and we're gonna boil this for about 15 to 20 minutes. And go ahead and add in your chile de arbol, along with your serranos, and your onion. Now do keep note, if you wanna toast your chili arbols, make sure you do that before. So we're gonna let this come to boil and we're gonna let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes just until uh, things start to just you know cook down and those chili arbols uh, soften up on us. So after about 15 minutes of boiling, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat. Uh, those, I did check these chili arbols, they are soft and the pepper is pretty much cooked. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take our peppers and everything and we're gonna go ahead and place them in the blender. Make sure you take off the stems on the serranos. Add in our onion, we're going to add in our tomatoes. Kind of just chopping them up so that way they uh, get in there. And then finally our chile de arbos. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our garlic and squeeze in a half of a lime. We're gonna take some of our beef broth that we got from our Chuck roast, I'm gonna add that in there. Here, I'm gonna blend that up. That's about a quarter of a cup of beef broth. All right, let's go ahead and get it ready. Let's blend it. All right, let's go ahead and check for seasoning now that we got it all blended up. Now when it comes to the salt, go, go to taste. This is a small batch of salsa, so I'm gonna just go a couple pinches at a time. All right, go ahead and mix in that salt. All right, let's give us a taste. It's got a nice kick to it. Got a real nice kick to it. I think we needed just a tad bit more salt. Let's see if we can get this on point. All right, let's go ahead and taste for seasoning again. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and make the machaca. All right, in a saute pan, we're gonna go ahead and set the heat to medium. We're gonna let that come to temp. Go ahead and lay down a little bit of cooking oil. Now this is really quick. The beef is already done. All we're gonna be doing is just sauteing the, the veggies and bringing everything together. And then final it off with some, some eggs. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add in our tomatoes, onion, and bell pepper. And give this a mix. We're gonna let this cook down just for a little bit. Now, I don't know if you noticed, I have not added any salt to this. We're gonna finalize that at the end. So while this sautés down, and right now would be a good time to beat your eggs. You kinda wanna break down those tomatoes where they start getting a little mushy and start becoming a little bit saucy. That's how I like my machaca, but if you want them firm, you can go ahead and leave them firm. Like what my mom would do, she would add a can of tomato to this. 
So, but I actually have extra tomato in this and I, then she would, she'll probably only put like one tomato and then a can of tomato in there. But uh, I got two nice sized Roma tomatoes in there. So I'm gonna use the tomato to actually make it saucy. The tomatoes are starting to get a little mushy on us. That's what we're looking for. Now we're gonna add just about, I wanna say about two tablespoons of that beef broth from our chuck roast that we boiled. This is gonna add some good flavor. And, and again, there's no sodium in this beef broth. All right, so that beef broth is gonna take us to where we want. Allow us to break down those tomatoes. Now we wanna go ahead and add in our garlic. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our beef. Go ahead and add in another scoop of our beef broth. Add some real good beef flavor to that. Now I didn't put anything in that water, it's just I just threw the beef in there. I just want a straight beef flavor. Now we're gonna bring this up to temp, get this uh, beef all nice and hot, and then we'll add in our eggs. Now for this, I'm gonna put six large eggs. So how I usually calculate it, I got five in my family. I always do one egg per person plus one. So, uh, you know, just a little extra egg to it. But yeah, you can put however, however much egg you want in this. If you want more egg, go ahead and add it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add in our salt. Go ahead and give this a mix. Let's go ahead and check for seasoning. That's actually perfect. Okay, so this has already come up to temp. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our egg. Go ahead and mix this together. Now we're basically gonna just keep stirring this until that egg solidifies. All right, all our egg is done. We're gonna go ahead and turn this off. I'm gonna go ahead and smash some beans really quick and we'll assemble our burrito. All right, so we got our heated flour tortilla. Now when I get my food trailer, this is gonna be an item on there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and lay down a little bit of beans. Go ahead and just spread that out. You want, you want beans evenly throughout the burrito. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our machaca con huevos. Now to fold the burrito, really simple. Kind of make like a V right here. Fold over, pull back, fold in, and then you roll on over. So now we got a burrito. Let's get into the taste test. With this salsa and this burrito, this is my favorite breakfast burritos right here. So we're gonna take a little bit of that salsa and put it right there on top. And that's how you eat these style, using this style of salsa. You put a little bit on your food and you take a bite. Cheers, y'all. That salsa is fire. This burrito is legit. One of my favorite breakfasts to make. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. Now we can see future videos just like this. As always, I'll leave the link in the video description and in the comment section so that we can go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com, to get the full printable recipe. Also on my website, you can get this awesome t-shirt and apron. This apron makes a bold statement when you serve your friends and family some awesome food. If you use the coupon code FATPANTS10, I'll get you 10% off. Now I got these recipes, they're really good. You should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.